Oh no. Oh no. Because of the that fire you started? Fire? What fire? You must be seeing things. Best of luck, dude. I'm off to my vacay. Everybody, don't panic. But the entire city is under a code red. The chief has just called a very important meeting. And we are first on the scene. Is everyone here? Good. There are riots all over the city. So it's all hands on deck. That means you too, McLean. Time to do some real police work. Are you sure your iffy stomach is able for it? Er. You too. Stop it. Officer Murakami was wounded in the field, but he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's happening out there right now. Uh, thanks, Chief. Guys, I've not seen anything like it before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another, and smashing up the place. It all seems so mindless. We don't know what's causing this behavior, but we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there, and good luck. Squad dismissed. So, where to first... Maybe we investigate Chinatown. We could also pick up lunch. That sounds delicious right now. Uh, this is where you got McNugget's retirement urn. <laughs> what? What a fun party. Uh, we spent the entire time chasing around monsters. Uh, chasing memories, you mean? Yeah. Any time spent with you, Dooley, is time worth spending. A back alley mystic shops are never run by... McGillicuddy or Sanchez, are they? What? I don't understand. Oh, it says wings. Okay. I, I thought it said wings. Apparently, I'm really hungry, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, there's a stringless tennis racket in here. Oh, I could use that. I'm sure. Ooh. Are those paws? Nah, they couldn't be. Help! I'm trapped! Get rid of them! Get rid of... What? Hang on. Let me just... Um, confiscate many of your items for... Per... Police business. Uh, crystals used for some form of healing, I guess. Ow. This is sharp. Hmm. That might actually be useful. Can I combine it with the tennis racket and make a super sharp, super awesome weapon? No, apparently not. The lucky cat. Given my current predicament, I'm starting to think none of these lucky charms work. Yeah, probably not. A large trunk with a sturdy lock. It's empty inside. Oh, I thought for... Oh, there they are. There's the shopkeep. Oh, the undead trinkets. Hmm. What's this? It's a Chinese puzzle box. I can't figure out how to open it. No idea what's inside. Uh, give me a crack at it. I'm the king of puzzles. Let me do it. I love puzzles. Various books on positive living. Feng Shua and harnessing the energy of the secret hell beast to control your enemies. What? Wait, what? Um, yeah, no kidding. Is that skull real? Uh, that's the skull of the previous shop owner. Her will stipulated I keep it on display at all times. That's a kind of odd, very strange. A dream catcher. Used for trapping nightmares. It may be very useful it, during this nightmare. Ooh, I got a dream catcher. Can I put that on the racket? Uh, the rope is too tight. I need to loosen up it up somehow. Can I cut it? I can use the sharp edges to cut the dream catcher up. Sweet, we're already, you know, I have just now figured out how to play this game, and this is the last case. Oh, well. It's a bit loose for a game of squash, don't you think? It may be a bit loose, but it is now a net, which I can use to net the trinkets. One careful swipe, and... Okay, I've got them all. Sweet, I got the monkey paws. Do not make a wish, whatever you do. I'm not coming out until those things are gone. 
They're gone. Oh. Put them in the trunk. Did that work? Sweet. That's the area. Eh, locked down. Ooh. Yeah, that's great. Your puns are getting worse, Detective McQueen. Thank goodness you came, officers. I, I don't know how else I'd have escaped. You guys, uh, they, they couldn't send some other cops. Uh, the whole force is busy. <laughs> this is harassment. Uh, you called us. Hello again, Wang. <laughs> Wang? Who's Wang? My name is, uh, Detective McQueen? Huh. L looks like we've got the wrong guy. Uh, what? <laughs> what happened here? My, my lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the, the body out back. They all started moving. Body out back? Um. Body out back? Yeah. I, I never said that. You've got no proof. Uh, Dooley, you hear him? Hmm. What's happening? I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. That was two questions total. Uh, 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 all this started not long after my store was robbed last night. Robbed? Uh, we found those gremlins in the end, Wang. <laughs> not in my shop, you didn't. It, you sold them to Dooley. I couldn't have sold him at something like that doesn't exist. Wink. Uh, you just said wink to me. No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> oh, good. Tell me more about the robbery. <laughs> Last night, some goons floated in. They smashed the place up and took some entirely legal ritual components. Ritual components? Uh, that doesn't sound completely legal to me. A g good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. Yeah, good thing. Floated in? Yep. Floated in a green haze. Oh no. Those are dark side people. You gave dark side people ritual components. Uh, that sounds like dark siders to me. I don't think we'll find anything else here, Dooley. I'm not sure what dark siders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. Why is the door smashed in? Looks like a break in. <laughs> Looters? Maybe, but they tend to go for televisions, not tapestries. Let's check it out. I already know what's happening. It's probably a cursed mummy or something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, please don't eat us, Mr. Glowy Dinosaur. An impressive specimen. There seems to be something stuck in here, but it's too far for me to reach. Good. Don't touch it. Uh, I'll do my best to find something else. Just do not touch it. It will eat you. The good thing is it doesn't have a stomach. So if it swallows you whole and doesn't chomp you in half, um, then you'll be okay. You'll just fall right out. The mummy? I knew it. I totally called it. Also, someone busted in and stole all the Egyptian jewelry. So there's this is probably a cursed mummy situation. Or curse of the mummy situation. You know what I mean. What on earth? That looks like a mummy. Rar. Uh, sweet. Can I have that? Thanks. <laughs> Except her. I don't even know her. <laughs> Wait. Who are we talking about? Yeah. Ex yes, Dooley. Absolutely. 100%. Smashed cabinet. Looks like some jewelry is missing. I knew it. The plaque says the gem of Osiris. Oh no, that is not good. Osiris, the Egyptian death god, I can't help but think that's tied in with what's going on across the city. Yeah, you don't say. Uh, this must be where the mummy came from. Uh, I don't know how or why, but that thing must have come out of that sarcophagus. I better look for a way to lure it back in there. I can use the scepter on the dinosaur to reach whatever it was I was trying to reach. Uh, I wonder if I can use this to dislodge whatever he ate. Was that another dinosaur? Oh, bird bones. Yes, great. Uh, that must have been Tony Rex's uh, last meal. Tony? 
Uh, the T has to stand for something. Um, okay, Dooley. Yeah, I guess you're kind of sort of correct. Why does that bird bone look like a, a key? Is it because it's used to open the curiosity cabinet? Uh, this might work as a makeshift lockpicking kit. A very fragile one. Oh, this is going to be fascinating. Cool. Uh, maybe if I match these bones to the tumblers in the lock, I'll be able to open the cabinet. So that one was kind of easy for a puzzle, I guess. Oh, that seems to be it. Now to see what's inside. Is it jewelry? Is it treasures? I want jewelry and treasures. That or a bunch of jars and brains. A jar of pickled brains. I prefer pickled onions myself. Right, but... Dooley, let's, let's think about this reasonably. The mummy is essentially a zombie. Zombies love brains. We throw pickled brains in here... And the zombie will go get it. Sorry, Pickled Brain, but I need to take care of some undead business. Yum. Yeah, go for it. Go. Go and get it, my friend. There you go. Eat up. They just woke up for a midnight snack. That's all. It's all good now. They'll just go right back to bed. I don't think we'll find anything else of note here. Let's get to the next crime scene. Oh, we have reports of a break-in at the Don's old mansion. Let's check it out. But first, let me kick the sandcastle over. Nobody's around. It's fun. Uh, detective, the city is in chaos. Surely we have better things to focus on than a derelict building? Uh, we don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belonged to a mafia Don. For all we know, there is a hidden weapon cache inside. Given how crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we had better make sure they don't get it. That is strange equipment. Um, can I play with it? Uh, this must belong to whoever's in there. This stuff looks dangerous. I'd better power it down for now. Yeah, power that right down. I got the battery, that's perfect. Um, can I look in the window maybe? These boarded windows make it hard to see much inside. So, then let's just walk in the- Um, hi! What are you doing here? You look like a zombie. Oh, do you have concrete shoes? You've come back to revenge your death against the dawn because you have concrete shoes. They made you swim with the fishes. Ooh, that's not good. Sir, you can't be here. This place is condemned. Brains. Oh, it's the zombie butler, even. That's even worse. Uh, that's not right. Is... Is there somebody there? It, yes, are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that... Thing. Brains. Hold on. We'll do something. Of course we will. We'll cut this rope. Uh, this seems to be the rope that holds the chandelier in place. Seems to be stuck. Can we help it along? Somebody half cleaned this cup. I'm sure they won't mind me taking their sponge. I... I wanted... A knife, not steel wool. How am I gonna cut down the stupid chandelier with steel wool? That liquid is so dark and stinky, I wouldn't put my hands in there for any reward. Can I electrocute it? <laughs> I'll clean it with electricity. Sink. Boom. Nope. Okay, fine. What if I steal wool the painting? No. What if I steal wool the couch? Nothing. Can I use the abrasive properties of this? Oh, I can combine the steel wheel wool with the battery. Yes. To make a fire starter bird. That rope. Perfect. Uh, blood wolf trick. Combine a battery with steel wool to make a fire starter. <laughs> little Emily taught me that. Oh, yes. Of course, little Emily did. Uh, that's plausible. Yeah, that one checks out. The spark isn't catching onto the rope. I need to find... Okay, fine. What else can I light on fire? Various supplies, including candles. I think I'll take one. Perfect. Now I have a candle. I can combine those two 
If I light this while it's still in my pocket, I'd burn my coat. My precious, precious coat. Oh, that's why the hint was you stick it on the table and then you leave it there. That's why it's sort of conveniently placed table. That makes sense! It does try to give me clues, which is really nice. Uh, this should be able to burn through the rope in a suitably slow and dramatic fashion. Ruh row. <laughs> yeah, uh oh. Boom! <laughs> it's uh, safe to come out now. Detective, is now a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire? Uh oh, the painting's on fire! The painting's on fire! Rexa? It is, it's Rexa! Uh, you guys, I owe you big time. Uh, what were you doing here? Actually, for no reason, no reason at all, we should go outside before you tell us. Um, detective? Detective! The house is on fire! Did we leave a light on in there? Uh, detective! Uh, while it's perfectly safe to go back in, let's not. We should talk to Raxa instead. Fine! Raxa, what up? How you doing? What have you been up to? Uh, thanks for saving me back there. Uh, are you okay? I am, thanks to you guys. Awesome! Sweet! Uh, what's with the get up? <laughs> I'm an in spookter now. Uh, since I kept finding myself at weird goings on, I licensed myself a franchise. And there was a localized storm here last night. So I knew that meant something was happening after the events of the, at the library. Good catch. Yeah, good. Actually, Raxa, you're learning. We taught you a lot. Good. Very good. You're executing on all of the things that we taught you. Fantastic. Is this your equipment? Uh, it is. It's a spooktometer. Do you like it? It reads for spooktivity. I brought it with me to help get readings. But I got trapped in that room and didn't get to look at the readings yet. Trapped by that creature? Later, yes, but not at first. There were people here searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for the Don. But he's been dead for a while. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited a while to make sure they didn't come back, but then that thing burst out of the floor and I was trapped again. Oh, well, I mean, that's not good. So, the butler didn't come back to life until after all those people were gone? I don't know if that's just a convenient thing, or if it's related. Good question, huh? So, what do the readings say? That's odd. The battery is missing. <laughs> uh, D Dooley, can you look less conspicuous dude come on thankfully there's a printout inside it uh give me a second while i open it up wow lots of spook troll readings whoever or whatever was looking for the don they weren't human Dooley, i just figured it out the dark siders aren't looking for something at the don's house they are looking for the don but you said he was dead. Which is why they took the gem of Osiris and the ritual components. They're trying to resurrect him. Wow, detective. What an amazing coincidence that every place the chief sent us was tied in so tightly with, with what's really going on. Uh, if we had been sent to even one different location, you may never have pieced it all together. There's no time to work out the undoubtedly small probability of things having worked out like this. We need to get to the graveyard and fast. We can't let him return. You should probably leave too, Rexa. Because of the f that fire you started? Fire? What fire? You must be seeing things. Probably starved from being inside. Bad for the mind! 
Make sure to eat something when you leave, which you should do now for food, not fire. Just ignore the fire. I mean, there is no fire. Just, just leave. Whatever you are currently doing, do the opposite and go. <clears throat> I, I think that went smoothly. A telescope. I wonder what I can find, and why is it conveniently overlooking the graveyard? <laughs> what? Uh, I wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from here. Um, they look like they're dancing just fine in the graveyard. A lot of cosplayers out tonight. I'm sure those aren't real zombies. <laughs> It's what I feared. The place is swarming with zombies. Oh, uh, these must be the Darksiders we've heard about. <gasps> Wait, is that Agent McScream? They're firing at somebody inside the church. I can't make out who, though. That might be Agent McScream. And who's that? Do I remember that person? They look... Kind of familiar. Okay, good. No doubt about it. They're zombies, all right. Looks like we're not getting in that way. Well, run the car through it. Ooh, there's someone up in the belt. Hey, bros, I need help. I, I'm being confronted with dangers to both my physical self and my dogmatic views on the universe here there's somebody trapped in the church if we don't get in and help them they'll be zombie fodder i mean i'd love to help you but i can't get in maybe leaving the lights on wasn't the best way to sneak up to this place might need this nightstick to keep the welcoming party at bay oh cool whap them get back you monsters Finally, a positive application for police brutality. Nah. Well, its hand broke off, but it doesn't seem to care. We might need another way in. Oh, actually, we received a zombie arm. So, if I can move the dumpster over, but its wheels are rusted. So, what am I supposed to do about that? Julie can't boost me over the broken rail because his back is hurting. Oh, I clicked on it, but I never clicked in it. An oil can. I could use that to oil the wheels, but I can't quite reach it. Use the arm. Dude, we got an arm. Use it. Okay, in position. Now just squeeze this muscle and got it. Oh, you just grab the muscle and yank on it. So the hand closes. <laughs> uh, it appears to be a box of stew. A box of stew. Is it warm? Uh, no, Dooley. You could not eat the old box of stew. Oh. Okay, that's the wheels oiled up. Let's push this into position, Dooley. Sweet, so the oil can had a little bit of oil left, so we could oil up the wheel. Now I can push it. And now we can go over, or we can go under. Let's go under. Okay, Dooley, I'll go over the wall. You go through the sewers. Hopefully, that way, one of us can save those people and stop the Don from being brought back. Have I mentioned that I don't like ton... Not the time, buddy. The city needs us. I know. Hey, detective? Yeah? Be careful. You too, buddy. You too. Oh, oh, we're Dooley now. Oh, sweet. We finally get to be the most awesome, epic police officer of all time. What? Whoa. What are you guys doing here? Oh, hey, look, it's the person that looks like Dooley. Drop your stuff and get out of here. I'd arrest you, but I've places to be. Uh, what are you talking? We're just here to fu- Resisting arrest? Is it? Uh, I guess we gotta listen to officer and take the rest of the day off, Tyrese. Uh, sure. 
It'll be nice to get home to the family early for a change. Oh, that's kind of nice. You're kind of out there, Dooley, but you're kind of nice doing it, I guess. Ooh, a kangaroo hammer. I'll confiscate this so they can't return to whatever shady business they were at. Ooh, the kangaroo hammer is kind of awesome. It's a sewer gate. This gate is blocking me from going any further. If only there was a way past it. Yeah, let's jackhammer it. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, smash those lemons with a hammer. Dooley, that's kind of dark. Dude, the fact that you could hold a jackhammer like that is impressive. Ooh, front of church. I can also climb the pipe. Scaffolding there. I hope the structure is sturdy because a piece of this could prove handy. Sweet. Can I combine those now? The scaffolding is a perfect fit. I thought I might. Ooh, stilts. I don't know what the purpose of those are, but we will absolutely use those somehow, some way. It seems to be full of rainwater. Okay. What can I do with that? Hey, look, it's zombies. Brains. I can't pass by them, but maybe I can find a way to go over them and get in through that broken window. Bah. Well, I need to get out of here before I get munched on. I mean, they let you run away like that? Sure. Let's try it. Okay, let's try these out. Sweet. Let's go to the front of the church. They can't get me all the way up here. You're like four feet, maybe three, three feet off the ground. Oh, brains. Yeah. Oh, I feel kind of. Not really. I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> Actually, the dark side goon shot out the window, giving me a handy way in. The sensor is full of old caked in moldy smelling incense. Sweet. Stained glass. Hey there, any chance for of a miracle? Oh, no? Right. Chief Gooley. Ha! Uh, what's going on here? What are you doing in the bright side? Ah, me innards. Uh, are you okay? Been shot, son. Right in the gut. So it was you and McScream those goons were shooting at. That is worse, son. Burn it up from the inside out, I am. Dark Star bullets, it's not like yours. What with them being full of cursed components, as it were. What can I do to help? Can we remove the bullet? Cannot be removed normally, son. I need some purified water to wash the badness out. I'll have a look around. Get, get back, demon bro. Um, great. Now I'm soaked. <laughs> Gnarly. Thought you were a hollow head. Total wipeout on my umbra. Right. Do you have a towel I can borrow? It is for an assortment of extreme sporting goods. From scuba tanks to hang gliders and oddly face paints? Why do you have all this? <laughs> Dude. I like to extreme to the max, and you can't extreme to the max without painting your face. But the scuba tank is bust. I lost the mouthpiece. I'm going to throw it out. Mind if I take it? <laughs> sure, dude. Enjoy. Oh, thanks. I absolutely will enjoy that. I don't know what I will be doing with it just yet, but I will enjoy it. <laughs> Sorry for the washout, dude. Uh, can I have some holy water? Far out, dude. Happy to share the Lord's liquid. Uh, don't say it like that. I'm way low right now. Oh, wasted my last wipeout on you. But you could have my dregs. But dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. No, that's fine. I totally need that to take the bullet out from Chief Ghoulie. Given the circumstances, I'm happy to topside and not drowning in a swell of undead. Uh, we need to get you out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead, I can get myself out of here, dude. 
Hmm. How will I do that? Like the surfer listens to the sea, maybe you should listen to the dead. That actually might work. Good idea. The Lord speaks through me, Brosev. We have to get this bullet out. Use this to wash out your woo. Much appreciated. Ah, oh, much better. Thank you, son. I can still hear the zombies outside. Brains, 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 brains. Sounds like they're arguing. If only I could understand them. Maybe McScream could do it. Whoa, wait, what? Sometime later. Oh, that was easier than I thought. I don't know what I just did. Everything is easy for the ignorant. Hey, okay, let's find out what those zombies are saying. So Agent McScream did it? Hey, brains, brains, brains. Your brains, my good brains. At the window? Okay, let's try this again. Brains, brains, brains. Brains, brains. They seem angry and confused. If I could disguise myself as one of them, I think I could unionize them and lead them away from the church. I need to find a way to make myself look and smell less alive. Oh, I mean, well, the incense will definitely make me smell less alive. If I can uh, just scrape enough off to rub on my coat, I should smell less alive. And done! Boy, that stinks. Oh, good. You you look great. Fantastic. Now, Shredder. Sorry, coat, but I need to look more undead-ish. Oh, that was our favorite coat. Oh, the face paint. Yes, totally. Can you use your face paint to make me look undead? Uh, I can do that 110%, brah. Per percents only go to 110, <laughs> bra. 110. Fine. Ooh, now I look greenish and like dead or undead. Okay, I should be able to pass this one with them now. So, brains, yeah, brains, brains, yep, brains, yep, brains, brains, brains. Okay, they've agreed to unionize under my leadership. Time to go talk to the people who brought them back. Yeah, let's brains, brains, brains. Let's absolutely brains, brains it, brains it, bra. Mamma mia. It's a zombie horde. Run, Slim. Oh, that's bats from earlier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, run. Oh, good. They ran. They ran far away. Those goons must have dropped the, these before running off. Sweet, I got the car keys. Can I just take it and go? Too late, Bright Cider. Now I live. Um... He is no zombie. He is a human, you fools. Brains? Oh no. Destroy him. Brains? No! So this is how it ends. Not with a bang, but with me whimpering. Dolly! Dolly! Help! I think this is about to give. Keep going, Dooley. You got it. Whoa, Dooley, you did it. Dooley, he's trapped under rubble with all those zombies. I need to save him. The priest said that holy water turned them to mush. But where could I find enough of it? I know exactly where I need this magical paint, though. I don't understand why a floating being needs a ladder to paint on walls, but I'm glad they do. This could make a passable walkway. Perfect, I know exactly what to do. Ladder, pull. Yes, perfect. Now we need to get out of here. I need you to bless the water tower for me. Uh, brah, are you for real, brah? I've gotten all the undead into the sewers and need to flush them fast. <laughs> I've been waiting to be asked to churn out that much god juice like... Literally forever! 
Uh, you have a distinct way of talking about your faith. What can I say, bro? The Lord is my surf guy. We hang tight and hang often. And I want to bring the whole world out on the waves with us. But we, the Lord and I, take safety mucho serioso. Take this life ring with you in case you get caught up in the flood. A flood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. Super biblical. Sweet, we have the life ring? Dude, bro, I'm gonna go do my thing. Bro, may the big G be on your side. The big G, I love that. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> oh, hold on, I need this mask. Yeah, 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 I'm a Yankee, that's great. This seems obscure enough to be useful. Hands off that mask, my only protection. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Can I help you, old bean? Uh, who are you? How long have you been here? Are you okay? You look like you've been through a lot. Sure, let's try... Oh, I clicked too fast. Uh, how long have you been here? Blimey, I don't jolly well know. Crashed here as a young man, took a job as a grave digger, and I wasn't a citizen. All happened... Uh, who are you? Brigadier Reginald Smith. Smithy to my friends. Oh, I thought they were like a blacksmith smithy. Actually, that makes a lot more sense. You're a military man. Can you... Help gear me up for the fight. Uh, helping with the war efforts? Sounds spiffy! I still have my military kit. Let's see. There's my mess tin, but things seem messy enough here already. A water bottle, but it's been shot up. A ground sheet? Hmm, a sheet would probably be more use... More use if it wasn't been ground up. Uh, it's not looking good, old chap. I tell you what, take my gas mask. It's over there on the shelf. Thank you! That's what, exactly what I needed. Yeah, toodles! Thank you. Uh, where was this when I hunted down those gremlins? Oh, yeah, the gremlins probably didn't smell great, did they? But now I can hook up the scuba gear with the mask. The mask should hold up as a replacement for breathing apparatus for a few minutes at least. Perfect! Now give that to Dooley so Dooley doesn't drown! Dooley, you need that! Quickly, put this on, buddy. Uh, okay. Now you're gonna need the life ring. This won't work. He's trapped under the rubble. Hopefully that scuba gear will keep him safe. Okay, Julie is ready. I'm ready. Are you ready up there, father? C Cowabunga! I'll take that as a yes. Be best of luck, dude. I'm off to my vacay. Oh, that's right. It has a hand glider in it. I was going to say, whoa, dang, dude. Uh, the pedal's locked in place and the car is good to go. I hope my aim is true. Bye, car. Oh, I was half expecting it to miss and just beeline it right through the church. Oh, but at least now we mushified the zombies. It sure looks that way. And it got... Flushed out. Cool. Now I enter the crypt. Hey, Dooley, you okay there, buddy? <coughs> uh, feeling a little wet behind the ears, but I'm okay. Glad to hear it. Oh, no! Ah! You took my minions. I'll have to create new ones, starting with your friend. <coughs> Hold on, Dooley! Dang it! If only there was a way I could send the Don back to the dark side. There is! Do that! It's a makeshift portal! I just have to match that up. I can totally do that. That's it! That's the dark side portal. Now drop it on him! My improvised portal is ready for use. Good! Drop it on him! Just drop it! I just need to take careful aim. Don't accidentally get Dooley! No! Sweet. Got him. Enjoy your exile back to the dark side. You okay, Dooley? <laughs> I'll live, detective. Good. I was worried about you there for a minute, buddy. Let's get you out of those sewers. Now then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Uh, we has arrested the rest of his uh, accomplices. 
and locked them away. This uncooperated to reduce his sentence. Uh, reversed the ritual side effects that raise the dead in your city. Should be that all the undead is back to being plain old dead now. Good, because I had no idea how I was going to fix that. That was crazy dangerous, you know. I was young and innocent, easily misled. It happened a half hour ago. I've grown a lot in that time. A new man, ready for parole, I'd say. Huh? Anyway, we owe you for this bright siders. You're welcome, I'd say any time, but let's make sure this never happens again. Okay. Absolutely. Let's get to processing this lot, of agent. Good on you guys. I'll miss you guys sometime later. So they're gone now. We've essentially fixed the problem, and we are on now to sometime later. Brickman here with Detective McKing, who just received a medal for stopping the riots across the city. Can you tell me, Brickman and them, viewers of Brickman, what happened, Detective? Uh, there were riots across the, the city, and uh, now there aren't. Uh, light on the details there, Detective. If your wife is the mayor, is that a conflict of interest? Nope. There you have it, friends. No conflicts and one fancy medal. Congratulations to the detective. After all that, I can't believe he got a medal instead of you, detective. They're saying that the water tower burst a few days prior and got tainted by dead bodies before leaking into the reservoir, giving everyone temporary madness. At least we know what happened. We're a hero, detective. Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. So it's true! We aren't disclosed! We can't be the heroes! He literally takes all the credit from us because we can't. We can't take the credit. And the guy is just dumb enough to think that they he actually did all of the things that we did. Boy, that is frustrating. But we kind of are like the unsung heroes. The ones in the background doing our best. Huh. Cool. Well, actually, that's the last case that we have. So, we hope you enjoyed this one. And now we're going to go and play other games. So, stay tuned for that. Goodbye!